TLC creep. So uh, the woke bill of Florida, in addition to denying people the right to learn history, um, now uh, Florida again wants to monitor um, young women's menstrual cycles, uh, allegedly to make sure that uh, it is uh, that they're female athletes or they were born female athletes to compete in athletics. But do you really want a state that is already so hell bent on having abortion, having access to that kind of information? You really want a state, a man, a state run by Ron DeSantis to have that kind of information. Um, and also the woke bill, the woke bill, the acronym wrong to our kids and employees. I don't know where the T is in that. That's such a shitty acronym that only Mississippi could do worse. But in, in learning a lot about um, history, um, in addition to all that is going on here, and I, you, all of us can surmise that the reason that a lot of people don't want us to learn our history is because even in the bill, they don't want people, to, even in the Florida bill, they don't even want people feeling bad about what has happened before. They don't want to have that subject brought up because it makes people feel bad and they feel guilty and they feel a part of something. So the whole reason for the bill is to deny people the right to learn about themselves because it may, may, may make other people feel bad. But... There's another more insidious reason. The insidious reason isn't, it's a, it, all of the reason isn't that they just don't want you, their kids to learn about them. They don't want you to learn about you because although a lot of parts of their history make them feel sad and ashamed, a lot of viewers would make you feel proud that your forefathers had gone through these things and had come out on top. That against such headwinds, they were able to accomplish so many things. All we ever learned about in history uh, was about George Washington Carver and Martin Luther King, and that is where they wanted to keep it. But there are so many stories of black people who accomplished amazing things, not just, not just in Africa, but here in America. In formerly enslaved people, and even people that were enslaved, were managed to accomplish great things, from owning land to being part of governance to inventing things to building whole towns. Imagine knowing your history and how it would make you feel. As bad as it makes them feel, so bad they write a bill or a law to keep you from it, is how good it would make you feel. So many things that black people have done, so many things to be proud of. Like Indiana's Hoosier State, not, not for any other reason than a man named Harry Hoover, Harry Hoosier, a black preacher, it is named after him. There were people in governance that we had no idea about because we didn't learn about. And now not only does Ron DeSantis want to keep you from that, to get an AP, uh, to have an AP course, that's slightly above honors. You have to have two things. You have to qualify and you have to be intelligent. You have to be, have a, a certain level of intellect. You have to qualify for it and you have to be curious. So th not only does he not want it tied, he wants it illegal for it to be tied. He doesn't want you to have the opportunity to, to volunteer to learn. And he doesn't want the kind of people who, who will volunteer to learn. To go into an AP class, you have to be bright and you have to be curious. And if you're bright and curious, guess what? You learn things. And if you learn things, you tell people. And they tell people. And it starts to erode a lot of things. It isn't that they just want you to, they don't want their kids to, kids to feel bad about all the things they've done. They don't want your kids to know all the things you did. Our story didn't just start in the middle. Here, they accomplished great things. So much more than just... Uh, 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 George Washington Carver, so much more than Martin Luther King, very no more than men, but they're along a pantheon of men and women who accomplished so much that they spend decades and centuries trying to erase it from history. When you take an AP class, that means you want to know and you're capable of knowing. You're capable of, uh, of disseminating information and understanding. And then you'll tell people. They, they, they seek to protect their children from their history because it will make them ashamed. They want you to, they want to protect your children from your history because they don't want you to be proud of all the things you're able to do in spite of it. NBC famously had a cane, uh, a saying. It was a slogan. It was doom, 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 the more you know. Florida should change it to doom, 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 the less you know. The less you know, the better for them. The less you know, the less proud you are. The less you are, the, the, the less you know about how to move forward. Because everything we've done before, we can do again. Just like everything they've done before, they can do again. It is more than just making them unaware of their history so they don't have to be ashamed. 
They don't want you to know that you were able to do things, that you came from people that could survive things that nothing or no one else ever could. That's a little note from the GED section. We got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. This is the D.L. Hughley Show.